Cloud certification serves as a validation for your cloud skills. They can make your resume stand out during the hiring process and can also result in larger paydays. So in today's session, we're going to talk about one of the famous cloud certification, which is Google Cloud Certification. But before we get started, I would like to address the agenda for today's session. Firstly, we will see what exactly is Google Cloud Certification and then see the different types of Google Cloud Certification. Moving on, we will see some of the major role-based Google Certification and take a look at some of the tips to pass the certification exam. Now moving on to a first topic, what exactly is Google Cloud Certification? Well, Google Cloud Certification is a level of Google Cloud expertise that an individual obtains after passing one or more certification exam. The certification validates your cloud expertise and helps you showcase your ability to help company and businesses with Google Cloud technology. Now, some of the reasons to get a Google Cloud certification would be you will be more confident about your cloud skills. According to the survey response from the 2020 Google Cloud Certification Impact Report, 87% of the Google Cloud certified individuals are more confident about the cloud skills. Next, the Professional Cloud Architect was the highest paying certification of 2019 and also 2020. Next, more than one out of four Google Cloud certified individuals took on more responsibility and leadership roles at their work. Now, a company or an organization is more likely to work with an individual who is certified rather than a person who isn't. This is because the certification acts as a proof that you have knowledge about Google Cloud and you have worked on it before. Now, this was about Google Cloud certification. Now, let us move on to our next topic and see the types of certification. There are three levels of Google certification. First is the foundational certification. Next is the associate level certification. And then comes the professional level certification. Now let us discuss about them one by one. The fundamental level of certification validates broad knowledge of cloud concepts and Google Cloud products, services, tools, features, benefits, and use cases. To sum it up, you should basically understand the capabilities of Google Cloud. Now in this level of certification, there is only one certificate, which is the Cloud Digital Leader. This certification is appropriate for individual in a non-technical job role who wants to add value to their organization by gaining cloud knowledge. This certification is also for someone who has little or no hands-on experience working on the Google Cloud. In the foundational certification, multiple choice and multiple select types of questions are asked. You will have three hours to complete this examination and the registration fees for this examination is $99. You can write this examination in English. You can either write it online or in a test center near you. The next level of certification is the associate level. This level of certification focuses on the fundamental skills of deploying, monitoring and maintaining projects on Google Cloud. In this level of certification also, there is only one certificate, which is the cloud engineer. Now this certification is a good starting point for those who are new to cloud and can be used as a path to professional level certifications. It requires at least six months of work experience working on the Google Cloud. The types of questions which are asked in the associate examination are also multiple choice and multiple select, but you will have only two hours to complete this exam and the registration fees for this examination is $125 plus taxes. You can write this examination in English, Japanese or Spanish. The last level of Google certification is the professional level. This level of certification ranges across various key technical job function and accesses advanced skills in design, implementation and management. The certification are recommended for individuals with industry experience and familiarity with Google Cloud products and solutions. There are eight professional cloud certification in Google, which are the cloud architect, cloud developer, data engineer, data security engineer, cloud network engineer, cloud DevOps engineer, collaboration engineer, and machine learning engineer. Now this level of certification requires more than three years of industry experience including more than one year of hands-on experience working on the Google Cloud. The types of questions asked in this examination are again multiple choice and multiple selects, but you'll have two hours to complete this examination. The registration fees for this examination is $200 plus taxes, and you can write this examination in English. Now, some of the professional certification exam can also be written in Japanese. You can either write this examination online or in a test center near you. Now, these were the types of certification. Now let us move on to the next topic and see some of the major role based certification. We will start by knowing the fundamental level certification, which is cloud digital leader. 
A cloud digital leader should have good understanding of Google Cloud core products and services and how they benefit the organizations. The cloud digital leader should understand how the services can be used in real time to solve business problems and how cloud solutions support an enterprise, making it more efficient. This is the only Google Cloud certification that does not require any previous cloud experience nor requires hands on experience with Google Cloud. So if you're just starting your cloud career and do not know where to begin, well, preparing for the certification should be your first step. The Cloud Digital Leader exam accesses your knowledge in three areas. The first is general cloud knowledge, second, general Google Cloud knowledge, and Google Cloud products and services. The next certification we'll talk about is the associate level cloud engineer certification. An associate cloud engineer is expected to deploy application, monitor operations, and manage enterprise solution. An individual appearing for the certification should be able to use Google Cloud Console and command line interface to perform common platform based tasks to maintain one or more deployed solution that leverages Google managed or self managed service on Google Cloud. Now for this associate level certification, you will need more than six months of hands on experience working with Google Cloud. The associate cloud engineer exam examines your ability to set up a cloud solution environment, plan and configure a cloud solution, deploy and implement a cloud solution and ensure successful operation of a cloud solution and also configure access and security. The next certification we'll talk about is a professional level cloud architect certification. The certification is intended for individuals who are interested in designing and managing business solution using Google Cloud Platform. According to Google knowledge, Google certified professional cloud architect is the highest paying certification. Now the professional cloud architects should be able to use cloud technologies to maximize the benefit for their organization. They should have a thorough understanding of cloud architect and Google cloud platform. They should be able to design, develop and manage robust, secure, scalable, highly available and dynamic solutions to drive business objectives. For this certification, you should have more than three years of industry experience and also have one or more year experience architecting and managing solution using GCP. The next certification is the professional cloud developer. This certification is intended for individuals who want to build and test application using Google Cloud service. A professional cloud developer should be able to build scalable and highly available application using Google recommended practices and tools. It should have hands on experience with cloud native application, developer tools, managed services and databases. A professional cloud developer should be skilled with at least one high level programming language and skilled at producing meaningful metrics and logs to debug and trace code. For this certification also, you should have more than three years of industry experience and more than one year of experience designing and managing solution using Google Cloud. The rest of the professional certifications are the data engineer. This certification is intended for individuals who want to design and build data collecting and processing machine learning models on Google Cloud Platform. Next, we have Cloud DevOps Engineer. This certification is intended for individuals who want to work as a DevOps engineer. They should be efficient in both development and operation and should have good knowledge of various DevOps tools. They should build software delivery pipeline, deploy and monitor services. The next certification is Cloud Security Engineer. This certification is intended for security engineer who have good understanding of security best practices and the current industry security requirements. They have to design, develop and manage a secure infrastructure using Google security services. The next professional certification is a cloud network engineer. The certification is intended for individuals who want to design, implement and manage network architecture on Google Cloud Platform. Next is a collaboration engineer. This certification is intended for individuals who can understand an organization's mail routing and identify management infrastructure and be able to efficiently and securely establish communication and data access. They should have at least one year of Google Workspace administration experience. The next certification is the machine learning engineer. This certification is intended for individuals who want to design, build and productize ML models to solve business challenges using Google Cloud technologies. Now these were the professional level certification. Now we will move on to a final topic for today where I will give you a few tips to prepare for the certification. The first point is read the exam guide for the certification. Now before you start practicing for the certification, I would suggest you to go through the exam guide. 
The exam guide contains domain and subdomains from which the questions are asked in the examination. This will give you a clear idea about what topics you should focus on in order to pass the examination. You will find the exam guide in the Google Cloud Certification official website. Next, the most important step is hands on experience. If you're writing any certification examination except the Cloud Digital Leader, you should have at least six months of hands on experience working on the Google Cloud. But if you're just starting your career in Google Cloud or want to start a career with Google Cloud, I would highly recommend you using the GCP free trial account. Now, Google provides all its new customer with free trial, which offers $300 in free credits. Now, they do this because they want you to fully explore and conduct an assessment on Google Cloud platform. You can use this $300 to try various Google Cloud products and learn how to use them. You won't be charged unless you choose to upgrade and it will be valid for 90 days. My next suggestion would be solving the sample questions. The sample questions will familiarize you with the format of the exam question and example content that may be covered on the exam. Now solving the sample questions will help you improve your confidence. We can also refer Google white papers, which will give you technical knowledge about various Google Cloud concepts and services. If you want to follow a structured approach, then I would highly recommend you to opt for an online training certification. I would highly recommend Edureka certification training, which is curated by top industry experts. The certification course consists of demonstration, assignments, MCQs, and a certification project, which will help you master the concepts. And with this, we have come to the end of our video. I hope this video was helpful. Happy learning.